Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So in this video, we will be talking about Neosporosis. So this is a protozoan parasite and which comes under the unit protozoology. So Neospora caninum is an obligate intracellular tissue cyst forming coccidian parasite. And parasites were found in the lesions in the brain and the muscles. It causes severe neuromuscular disease in dogs and abortion and neonality, neonatal mortality in cattle. So it is a very important disease in case of dogs and cattle. So the taxonomical details are they belong to the phylum Apicomplexa, class Conoidacida, order U, Coccidiorida, family Sarcosistidae, genus Neospora, and the species is Neospora caninum. So the Neospora caninum, the final host is dog and other canids, and the intermediate host are the cattle. The site is brain, heart, liver, and placenta. So the final host is dog and you can see all those details. So the morphology, unsporulated oocyst in dogs are reported to measure with this size. Tachyzoids will measure 6 by 2 millimeter. So the structure and morphological details. Tachyzoids are the rapidly dividing since tachy means rapidly dividing and this stage cause tissue damage and spread the infection in the tissues of the host. So next is the tissue cyst. Tissue cysts are round or oval and it contains infective bradyzoids which are orally infectious for the intermediate host and also in case of dogs. You have to remember this point. So the oocyst that is actually uh, passed by the dogs in case of neosporosis. Unsporulated isosporin type of oocyst will be shed by the dogs after 8 to 23 days of infection. So you have to remember a point that enteroepithelial cycle in dogs is unknown. So transmission in case of dogs is by two methods that is ingestion of bradyzoic laden tissues of cattle particularly placenta and fetal membranes that is whenever the dogs are ingesting the bradyzoic laden tissue or transplacental transmission thought to be the predominant route in case of dogs. So mother will give to the next is the cattle. Adult cattle mainly become infected by ingesting sporulated oocyst which is present in the soil due to the contaminated dog feces. Next is the congenital infection that is cattle due to active dissemination of the tachyzoids across the placenta during pregnancy. So you can see dog is the definitive host. In the feces they will shed the oocyst through food, water and soil. Oocyst will enter into the intermediate host and it act bradyzoids in tissue will insist. In case of tachyzoids will uh, move to the fetus through the placenta. So the disease transmission you can see vertical from mother cow to the offspring and in case of cat, dogs also it can be transmitted to the baby. So you can see the life cycle. Transmission through feces by dog will be having feces and through contact with the feces by oral nasal route they get infected. So these are the cycle different diagrams. So moving to the canine neosporosis. A normal dog eats a placenta or tissue laden with pachyzoids or encysted bradyzoids of the infected herbivore. So what happens? A dog eats the placenta. So in the dog intestine, in the placenta, if the cattle was infected, there will be tachyzoids. So what happens? Tachyzoids develop in the dog intestine and they produce lesions and undergo sexual reproduction to produce unsporulated oocyst. Unsporulated oocyst will be produced only in the intestine of the dog. Because it is the final host. If the immunity is not good means uh, tachyzoids will actively work. Or if the immunity is very good means tachyzoids will be converted into small replication or slowly replicating bradyzoids which are infected or the insisted bradyzoids. So what happens? If the dog is pregnant, tachyzoids move through the placenta and goes to the fetus. So pathogenesis is actually cervical weakness and dysphagia will lead to the death. And also clinical neosporosis is a result of proliferation of tachyzoids within the intestinal tissues and all. So this is protozoan granulation, granulation tissues in the brain. So in dog, the clinical signs will be progressive or ascending paralysis in case of young dogs. Other dysfunctions include difficulty in swallowing, paralysis of jaw, muscle flaccidity, etc. You can see posterior paralysis, bovine neosporosis. So what happens in case of cattle? A cattle is grazing in the floor and accidentally it ingests uh, a sporulated oocyst. What happens in the intestine? 
the sporulated oocyst get excitation and the sporozoids are released. Sporozoids transform into fast multiplying pachyzoids and invade and destroy the intestinal epithelial cells. What happens? Then they spread to the neurons, macrophages, fibroblasts, vascular endothelial, hepatocytes, myelocytes, myocardium, placenta, and also through leukocyte trafficking, they move to the other parts of the body. When immunity develops, the fast multiplying pachyzoids get converted into slow multiplying bradyzoids and get insisted in the body tissues. If at all the cow is pregnant, the pachyzoids will be actively disseminated through the placenta and they will reach the fetus and produce many abortive cases. So, bovine neosporosis uh, is actually uh, a big disease and the vertical transmission is present in case of cow and this is a serious issue. Pachyzoids and tissues are seen intracellularly in CNS and retina of apatite catch. Abortion is very common in case of what happened in the bovine neosporosis. So, most common cause of bovine abortion in dairy and beef cattle farms. The most characteristic lesion of neosporosis is the non-suppurative focal encephalitis characterized by multifocal cerebral necrosis and non-suppurative inflammation. So, myocarditis is also seen in the aborted fetus and the hepatitis is more common. So, this is actually the transmission. So, the diagnosis actually will be a neurological signs or the detection of antibodies or the agglutination tests. So, this is a cross section of a cat kidney tubule infected with the neospora canina. So, tissue cyst. So, prevention and control is actually by control of the dogs in case of cattle farm. You have to remove all the dogs in the cattle farm and you have to control your dog's food habit and actually no effective treatment in case of cattle. But we can use a vaccine that is bovinus neogard. So, thank you guys.